a beautiful Sunday afternoon at Indiana University, right after a fresh snow. Is the campus dead because all the students are recovering from last night? Or could it be because they are terrified of the fearless squirrels that roam and rule our school? Almost every student at IU has a sketchy story about a squirrel encounter. Whether it's a harmless showdown for the sidewalk, or a bloodthirsty squirrel is pouncing from above. Many people live in fear of one day being attacked by one of those creatures. Mackenzie Nolly, a sophomore, had an unfortunate rendezvous with a killer squirrel. It all started August of 2013. It was the summer of my freshman year, and I had heard about the squirrels, but I didn't know they were as bad as everybody said they were. And so I was walking to class one day and I saw one, it was cute and it was furry and it was running around and I had a crumb in my hand. And so I got towards it thinking I could pet it, but instead it jumped on my face and started attacking me and it didn't stop and it kept going and I had scratches all over my face and it didn't stop until somebody had to pull it off of me. A squirrel attack? Right in the middle of campus? Now that is nuts. Now let's chat with Alexander Keller. She has us convinced that these squirrels are taking over. The IU squirrels? Yeah. I guess I can say one thing. Our anthem, part of it is never daunted, we cannot falter. I'm daunted, to be honest. I'm, I'm daunted. I, I, I don't really want to talk about it, actually. Sorry. While many people believe that these squirrels are senseless and dangerous, there are a few who respect these animals. Here we have Abby Matt, a student from Indianapolis. I really like furry animals, and I think I just started observing the furry animals and then started taking pictures of them and people started liking pictures, so I kept taking more pictures. What would you say to the squirrel haters out there? <laughs> um, definitely be careful, but the squirrels aren't gonna hurt you or kill you. They may scratch you, but especially at IU, the squirrels aren't very dangerous. So it is understandable that some students find enjoyment and happiness from these squirrels. They have been known to do some pretty funny stuff, time to time. But where do we draw the line? We know one thing. They have taken over our social media. Back in April of 2014, the squirrels hacked into the official Indiana University Twitter. Many people, like Abby, started posting photos and videos to Instagram, and hashtag squirrels at IU was born. Something nutty happened with the Yik Yak community. Someone pretended to be a gossip squirrel, based off the CW's drama Gossip Girl. So there's an obvious obsession with squirrels here. Is this simply a harmless new trend, or do the squirrels have us exactly where they want us? Right by the nuts. <laughs>